2020 has been an interesting year so far with many changes coming to people's lives. This having to do with politics, to the restrictions in travel, to people's work life being completely changed due to COVID. And in the times so far, a lot of people have sold their cars, their second cars, and have tried to find alternative ways of transport. To this point, buses, trains, trams have been pretty useful. However, with social distancing, most people don't want to take that risk. This is why other forms of personal transport are here and you should really consider them. So in this video, I'm going to discuss electric scooters in Ireland as well as the other forms of transport you could take. The three pillars are really bicycles, skateboards and electric scooters right now. Bicycles, they're wonderful. They're pretty portable, they're not too heavy, and they can really get you across places at high speed. However, the problem with bicycles is that it is a physical workout paired with the Irish roads, which have a lot of potholes and a lot of hills. You end up getting sweaty to work, and personally speaking, whether it's an office job where you wear a suit or a regular shop job where you wear a shop polo, you don't really want to start a day of work being sweaty so that's kind of thing that put me off as well as this it's really hard to store bicycles because shops and workplaces don't really have bicycle storage for the most part so you're still gonna have to park it in the street with the rest of it being robbed and then walk whatever distance is required then there are skateboards and most people would not even consider this however being younger myself it is an option and I've skated to work in the past they're wonderful, they're really a nice workout, they don't really sweat you too much and it's way quicker than walking. However, wet ground is a skateboard's worst friend. It is a disaster and very dangerous. It's a lovely leisure activity but if you're going to work every single day and need a form of transport that isn't determined by the weather, then you gotta look elsewhere. Here is where electric scooters come in and I'll talk a bit about price ranges and the benefits but as a whole they're wonderful. New ones range in price between 300 and 700 euro, that's the most commonly available ones. There are more extreme ones like the Boosted Drive which is about 1400 as well as these extreme ones that go very fast or have enormous batteries. These range all the way up to seven and a half thousand, a huge margin. And at that point, most people would simply just get a car. So I'll talk about this low price range, 300 to 700. At that price, it is a bargain as it seems, because thinking about it, a car is very, very hard to upkeep. The initial cost of purchasing a car is usually in the thousands. Then you need to pay insurance, tax, road worthy tests, get any mechanical work done that's required and all of that adds up and if you're working from home and just use it on the weekends or to grocery shopping it doesn't really add up as a good way of transport it's just too much cost for too little out of it so scooters being an initial investment of maybe 400 500 euro seem pretty good because technically you don't really need to add more to it than that so that's all a very big thing. Secondly, it's the whole portability aspect of it. You see, with bicycles, for instance, they're portable enough, but you cannot bring them to work inside your workplace. With scooters, they're wonderful. Most are around the 12 kilo mark, which sounds like a lot, but that's only if you're lifting it. Most of them allow you to fold them up and then just push them under one wheel, which is really easy. It's kind of like pushing a pram, a buggy and it's not really a workout at all. And it's just fantastic the way you can do that. Thirdly is the range and ease of use. You see, scooters all depend very on mark, on brand and on price. This one, for instance, has a rating of 25 kilometers range if you go in eco modes, etc., which is perfectly fine to me. That's like a few days of going to work and home, no problems at all and then you can just charge them overnight in just a household plug. That's how easy it is. Maintenance wise is relatively easy. I have a small set of tools that I bring with me everywhere and I just use it to tighten up any of the loose bolts because potholes, holes, bumps, going up pavements, all of that regular stuff that your car suspension would bring up. Scooters, you kind of need to re-tighten the bolts. 
with scooters you kind of do need to retighten the bolts. It's quite normal and nothing to worry about, but it is a consideration. Maintenance is very very simple. And now for the most important part. The fact that they are really really fun. It is a joy to ride to work on an electric scooter. It's so much fun. You can go up 30 kilometers per hour or thereabout and just scoot down the road being you know observant and obeying the laws of the road but it's so much fun it's really really fun it's a lot more easier than skateboarding because after skateboarding although it is fun you do end up getting out of breath sometimes not sweaty but out of breath and scooters are just so much fun so I do highly recommend them even Ireland a country that's notorious for having bad public transport and bad cycle paths, it's still a relatively good option. In 2020, it does seem like an ideal candidate for an alternative way of transport, whether it's to work, to school, to college, to do a bit of groceries, or whether you just want to go for a leisurely ride. That's all for this video. In the next two, I'm going to talk about scooter tips and tricks, specifically to this 9bot ES2 as well as the scooter accessories and essentials. Things that I simply wouldn't go without if I ever got a second scooter or were to start again. Thanks for now.